going on YouTube, Ronnie Tapple here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix iTunes error, error 3194, 1600, error 20, and error uh, 1013, 10, error 1014, and error 1015, and um, er, uh, kind of, and also the small, uh, and the, the small errors that some of you guys may have run into, and when you're trying to downgrade or restore your iPhone or iPod Touch through iTunes. Now before I get started here, I want to tell you guys that if you're getting any kind of, if you're getting the 3194 error, um, you will have, to, and if you're getting that error in iTunes, that means you will have to have your SHSH blobs saved. So if you guys, what that means, you guys, if you ever jailbroke in Insidia and you've ever clicked on Make My Life Easier, that means you have your SHSH blobs saved. And you can actually, if you have access to Insidia, you can see that you, um, which SHSH blobs you guys have saved. Um, so um, for example, for me, it says I have saved my 4.1, 4.2.1. 4.3, 4.3 baseband 3, the 4.3.3, 4.3.4, and the 4.3.5. So I have saved every one of my SHSH blobs, which is uh, which is recommended uh, just in case I ever need to downgrade again. All right, you guys. Um, so I will be talking pretty fast because I want to make this um uh, not too much longer than 10 minutes. Um, so if I'm going too fast for you guys, I'm sorry. Just kind of pause it while you're kind of working. Um, so you guys can keep up with me. All right. So the first error we'll be talking to you guys will, is only focused towards Windows users only. So if you're using a Windows, um, this is um, this is only focused towards you. So I've actually gotten some questions about this. Um, if you guys are getting an error, or if you guys don't, if you guys are trying to download the IPSW or the firmwares like from Felix Bruns, and it only downloads it in a folder and not in a, a .ipsw folder um, or, or file. Um, that means you guys are using Internet Explorer. So if you guys are using Internet Explorer um, and to download uh, IPSW files, it does not work. Um, the, re the reasoning for this is because um, Internet Explorer is kind of lazy sometimes, and basically, if it gets a file that it cannot recognize, basically what it does is it just it just kind of just puts it in the folder and leaves it there, and doesn't actually download the IPSW file. So um, an alternative to this, you guys, is actually to download Google Chrome, uh, sorry, Google Chrome, Safari, or Firefox, and download one of those and then use it to download the IPSWs. So you can just open up Firefox, go to Felix Bruns, and then download the IPSW using one of those three um, uh, internet browsers. All right. So the next uh, error I'll be talking to you guys about is 31 is a 3194 error. And basically, what this error, uh, it, the reasoning for this to happening is because either you guys uh, don't have your SHSH blobs saved, or you don't, um, or basically um, you didn't uh, put your host files in right. So basically, iTunes isn't letting you downgrade because it sees that it's you're down, you're want, you want to downgrade, um, which isn't allowed technically in, uh, through Apple. So basically, what you guys want to do is, um, if you guys came from my earlier video on how to downgrade 4.3.5 to 4.3.3, if you guys came from that video, because I will redirect you to go to this video if you guys are having problems, you want to actually skip this step or actually just um, uh, sit back and relax and watch this, and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. So if you guys have were not redirected from my old video, what you want to do is open up lo local disk C, open up Windows. Scroll down to System32 and open up that folder. And you want to go ahead and you want to open up Drivers. And then you want to open up ETC. So for you guys, if some of you guys don't uh, have this host file right here. Um, so most of you guys should have this host file. But if you don't, don't worry. I'll get to you in a second. So if you have this host file, what you want to do is you want to double click on it. And you want to open it in Notepad. And basically, you guys won't have any of this stuff um, below the 38.25 line. Um, basically, that this is what it will look like for the most for the most part, you guys. Um, basically, what you guys want to do is I will have this in the description. You want to um, copy and paste one of the two links uh, or the uh, gs.apple.com links. You want to paste one of those, not both of them, but just one of those in there without the hashtag like um, like all these like right here that have the little number sign make sure it doesn't have the hashtag there because it basically the hashtag tells Windows not to read that certain part of the file so once you've done that you want to click um, file and then save and then you want to exit iTunes and then you want to go ahead and you want to um, re either restart 
uh, um, or open up iTunes again, or better yet, just restart your system. So if you guys don't have the host file um, here, what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop and you want to go to new and then new text document and then a, a, a there should be something new that says new text document dot txt which you want to do is just leave it like that and then just open it up and it should open up open it up in notepad and I'll actually have something for you guys to, um, uh, to copy and paste in here only if you guys don't have the host file so if you guys don't have the host file you want to copy and paste it it'll be in the description um, you want to paste it here and then after that um, you want to click uh, file and then save and once you save that, um, uh, you, which you, basically what you want to do is you want to right click it and then rename it. And you want to rename it to hosts without, uh, it's just, and not a capital uh, H, but just regular hosts. And make sure you take out the .txt. So basically, um, you want to rename it to just hosts. Sorry, it's taking me a second because my, my, um, my computer is running a little slow because of my um, recording. So you want to click enter and it says you want to change the, the file extension, you want to click yes and then um, it should change the host file to a, it, it should look like a regular piece of paper um, uh, it, without uh, like a text document and after you do that you want to um, drag it into the ATC folder and after you do that you can save, exit iTunes and reopen it up or just better yet reboot your device. So for the next part, you guys, this requires a tiny umbrella. If you guys were redirected to my um, from my other video, then you can go ahead and you can start paying attention now. So if you guys, uh, you guys will actually, um, I'll have a link in the description to download Tiny Umbrella. This the website will look like this, and you can download either the Tiny Umbrella for your Mac or the Tiny Umbrella for your Windows. And once you do that and, and extract it to your desktop, you want to open it up. And you want to make sure your iPhone or your iPod Touch is plugged into um, to your computer, and you will see in the general tab that if you guys if you guys before didn't have access to Cydia to know if you had your SH SH blob saved, if you click on the general tab, then you will at, then you will see all the SH SH blobs you have saved. So um, basically, what what all these blobs mean is these are the firmwares that you can downgrade to. So um, so I can actually downgrade to any one of these, but basically. Um, for example, I can actually download to the 4.3.3 firmware um, because I actually have the blob saved. So that means I can actually go and I can go to Felix Bruns and download the 4.3.3 firmware from there. And then after after I do that, um, you want to click on Start TSS Server where it says right there, Start TSS Server. And if you have iTunes opened, you will notice that iTunes iTunes will close. Then you want to go and you want to open up iTunes again, and then you can do the shift click restore, which basically means hold down shift, click restore, and then select your IPSW. Alright, so if you guys um, were, did that and tried to restore through Tiny Umbrella using a TSS server, uh, chances are you might have gotten the error 20 in iTunes. That means you need to disable your Windows firewall. Basically, what that means, you guys, is you need to open your control panel. I go to system and system and security and you want to go to Windows firewall and basically what you want to do is you want to click on uh, disable the uh, just kind of scroll around and you want to um, disable both the firewalls that will pop up so once you've disabled your Windows firewall and clicked OK that should fix the error 20 of you are getting in iTunes alright so the next uh, thing I'll be showing you guys is how to fix error 1015, ter error 1013, error 1014 um, and error 1600 and basically all the 1600 errors like 1603 and everything like that um, so basically what you want to do is you want to uh, click on, I will actually show you, uh, show you guys what to do in the description basically what this means you guys is um, basically that you guys cannot use the stock firmwares that Apple provides for you um, um, through iTunes. You can only use custom firmwares. Um, so you cannot use the firmwares you use in, um, through uh, like Felix Barnes and everything. Basically, what you want to do is you want to download Snowbreeze. So um, so the know which Snowbreeze to download for you guys is basically um, if so say I wanted to downgrade to the 4.3.3 firmware. I will click on the snow breeze and download the snow breeze that says 
uh, in parentheses it says for iOS 4.2.8 or 4.3.3. So since it says 4.3.3 in there, I will download that specific Snowbreeze. And after I do that, um, this will uh, you'll, uh, Snowbreeze will open up, and then you want to click OK through everything, and you want to click Browse. And then you want to select the 4.3.3 IPSW, click OK, and it will ide start identifying the IPSW. All right, so you want to go ahead and once you once uh, once it's identified your IPSW, you want to click on Expert Mode, click Next, and you want to click on Build IPSW, click on the, your little arrow, and it will actually start extracting your IPSW and creating one. And you can, um, if you get bored, you can actually play Pac-Man, which I thought was pretty kind of it was actually pretty funny. Um, so basically, once you um uh, once it is done downgrading or extracting your IPSW, it'll say that um it has been added to your desktop so you will see a little icon that looks like the, an IPSW on your desktop but it says Snowbreeze um, 4.3.3 IPSW and um, it'll actually have a uh, Snowbreeze will actually take you take you through something that actually allows you to put it into a pwned DFU mode so um, once you've done that um, you can actually see right here you guys where it says it says um, Snowbreeze uh, iPhone 3GS i4.3.3 IPSW and basically what you want to do is open up iTunes and then shift click restore and you want to select the um, the firmware that says Snowbreeze that's the only one you want to select and basically that this is actually the method that actually helped me fix my iPhone yesterday so um, basically when you are restoring instead of being the Apple symbol when you uh, on the progress bar, bar it'll actually be a little snowflake Alright, so if you guys are still getting the 10.15 uh, error, this only works for the 10.15 error. So after you've done what I've told you to do and you're still getting a 10.15 error, you guys will want to download iReb, and that is also from the I Hate Snow site where you downloaded Snow Breeze. You just want to click on iReb and download iReb. And after you do that, um, you want to click on the second tab up here where it says Recovery Mode Loop Fixer. And you want to click on where it says set auto boot true, and then parentheses it says fixes uh, 1015 errors. What you want to do, what you want to do is um, click on that, and it'll actually kick. Uh, it, what this does is it actually doesn't let you. Um, it doesn't downgrade your device, but if you guys are stuck on the iTunes logo on your iDevice, then they'll actually kick you out of that um, out of the iTunes logo, so you can actually make your iDevice usable. All right. So this last part for you guys is basically if you guys are getting any error, it doesn't matter what error it is. Um, basically, if you're getting any error in the middle of downgrading, so let's say if you guys started uh, started restoring and the little progress bar on your iDevice was about halfway through, and then once it gets halfway through, it gives you like an error. Or if you're done, even when you're done, it gives you an error and it doesn't let you downgrade. Um, basically, um, this will basically fix it and basically kick it out of recovery mode. So you want to download Recboot, and I'll have a link in the description for that. And you can actually either you can either open up exit.bat, and after you do that, you want to click on um, Recboot.exe. All right. So once you open up Recboot, basically what this allows you to do is basically if you guys are getting a 10:15 error, basically it does the same thing, um, but because um, if you get an error in the middle of restoring, it'll put you into that little um, iTunes logo where you'll need to restore. Basically, what you want to do is just click Exit Recovery Mode, and it'll kick you out of Recovery Mode, and it'll make your iDevice usable again. All right. So if you guys are getting any other, if if that if that still doesn't work for you guys, if you guys are still stuck on the iTunes logo, basically you guys want to do a hard reboot, which basically means holding down your home and your power button for about 10 seconds until you see the Apple logo. And if that doesn't work for you guys then um, that means your iDevice is actually bricked and um, there's just something else wrong with your device maybe you dropped it in water or you see you dropped it or something like that something's wrong with the hardware and I cannot fix you with that uh, I, I can't do anything about that but if you guys have any questions feel free to uh, feel free to comment or just send me a PM I'll try to help you out as best as I can alright you guys thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions again you can go and you can PM me or just follow me on Twitter and you can ask me questions there um, so again um, thank you guys for watching I hope you guys really like this video if you guys um, do like this video make sure you check out my channel because chances are you will find something there you will, you will like also if you like this video so again lastly I'll say this one more time thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe peace